In Hawke's Bay, there's a property recently converted to dairying with all the complications that brings. Previously, it was a sheep and beef farm. Kynan Thompson had researched biological farming methods before he decided to convert his farm to dairying. Yeah, the biological farming had come about prior to dairying. We'd been discussing things with Jim at, at Outgrow and, and trying to find better ways of growing crops and, and, and higher yields. So we had embarked on that process a little bit prior to dairying and it was just more and more important that we did things correctly as we, as we converted a lot of new pastures. So the biological fit was perfect. But there are some who believe the impact of using biological farming methods comes from the historical fertility inherited from conventional top dressing. I've been throwing the comment that we're mining the resources that we've got here, but, um, but we're actually monitoring a lot more intensively than we would under conventional, and, um, and these trend lines is what we're looking for, and so if there is any um, reduction in one type of element in the soil, we can see it and correct it straight away. So we're not looking at massive high levels of anything, we're just looking at the balance and the balance between all the, all the um, elements.